Det var som altid en, en kæmpe oplevelse, jeg blev slået. Øh, jeg var faktisk ret nervøs op til den her kamp, fordi jeg havde set, at øh, Jetta, han var meget fremadbrusende, og han, han var ikke kommet for at lægge sig, og det, det gav han i hvert fald også udtryk for. Øh, så jeg havde regnet med, at den sagtens skulle gå de 12 omgange. Øh, men jeg, jeg følte, at øh, det vi arbejdede på med Joey, det, det virkede, og øh, ja, vi fik jabbet i gang, og, og leverhugget, som vi har trænet utroligt hårdt på op til den her kamp, og, og det var ligesom det, der gjorde forskellen i dag. Yeah, yeah, we had been working on the jab and body shots. Um, you know, we knew we had a good fighter to face, and um, you know, we had to be ready. Uh, you know, Patrick and Mickey's trademark is you know good jabs and good body punching beyond other things. But that's what they used tonight, and it was effective. Um, you know, I think uh, it couldn't have gone any better for Patrick. Uh, you know, he caught uh, Tony with a very good body shot. Um, and you know, Patrick, you can tell he had a good camp this time, and you could tell he was used to boxing in Copenhagen. There were no nerves. He was very calm in the dressing room. Um, you know, weight wasn't a problem to make. He, he looked in great shape, and uh, you know, had a lot of rounds of sparring. And you could tell, you know, the, 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 his punches had a lot of snap in them, and uh, you know, it, it all came right on the night. Oh man, he caught me with the best body shot I've ever been hit with. So I mean. Ultimately, I think <clears throat> any fighter you get hit with a body shot, that's it. And um, yeah, it knocked the wind out of me, and you know I just couldn't recover. Really, really good shot. I mean, it was pinpoint right on my little floating rib, and knocked all the wind out of me. I tried to walk around, and every step I took, it just like the air just went out. So I mean, it was just a really good shot. <clears throat> probably, probably the bad, the one of the best body shots I've ever been hit with. And, and what by far. What was it like for you to be fighting in Albert's hunt? I mean, I think ultimately I knew it was going to be, you know, his hometown, so I was sort of expecting it to be like that. Um, I just got called with a really good shot. I mean, he, he's obviously a good fighter. I mean, he's 22-0 and now. Um, so we knew he was going to be a, a, a difficult opponent. And um, it didn't go my way today, but... You know, we'll regroup and keep moving. I'm a, I'm a young, even though I'm chronologically a little bit older, I'm so, like, I mean, I haven't taken a ton of damage. So, but good body shot. I mean, the kid, the kid was ready to go, and um, he was um, definitely um, well, well schooled. I mean, this guy, I mean, this guy Joey Gamash has his coach. I mean, come on now. So former, he's like, oh, he's like my, my hero growing up. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Charles, uh, did Patrick surprise you in that today? Huh? Not really. Mm. Patrick did exactly what I could do. Patrick would do. And I informed Mo Bennett that he was the type of guy that he would hook off the jab, and if he went up against the ropes, he would slip a body shot in. Or the body shot that he slipped in was the body shot I sent him put somebody down with. And just so happened, Mo Bennett was one of them tonight. Well, um, you know, I think, you know, uh, we fought a top-ranked opponent tonight, you know. Um, I'd like to, you know, kind of just said, you know, it was a, it was a body shot which, which <coughs> would put anyone down, you know. Uh, so there's no shame in that, you know. Um, moving forward, I've said before, you know, we've always talked about, well, this one's next, and, you know, the silver belt next. And, you know, make no mistake, Patrick Nielsen has arrived tonight. You know, this is uh, his, his statement, you know, the way... He, he went about things tonight, um, you know, it was unbelievable, you know, uh, and I think that the, the next step, of course, is, you know, that is, is, is to turn this into gold, you know, and, um, you know, we're there, we're there in discussions already for a fight in, in May, um, where we uh, hope to have a, a, a good name, you know, we're talking uh, at the moment to Don King, and, uh, we're talking about Cabrera, who's a, a Don King guy, and we're hoping that we can make that. We're talking this week with the WBC as well, because it's the, the situation is a little bit confusing. Um, but that's uh, that, you know, so it's going to be a busy week for my brother and me. You know, we'll, we'll work out what we can, how quickly we can put things together. Yeah, man, it was really fit and I slowed down a little, but things were still really good for me, and the whole thing. So I'm very happy. Well, Mickey hurt his uh, hand 
in the early rounds. I think it was in the first or second round. He got his left hand. Um, so he was one hand Mickey tonight. Um, <laughs> and, you know, uh, it sounds crazy, but it was a very good learning process just to fight with one hand and use that jab. And he, I could actually see him almost learning in the fight. You know, he was, he was, he got caught with a couple of jabs, but then he started closing up on those jabs and blocking them, parrying them. And um, you know, he bossed the guy around and could have stopped him from just using one hand. So impressive. Did his ten rounds, <coughs> and um, you know, he he could have done twelve rounds tonight, no problem. Great shape. I feel just just add to that. I mean, for a twenty-year-old to go ten rounds with a composure. Having lost your 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 power hand, so to speak, and this obviously southpaw, um, that for me is uh, <coughs> signs of you know where where Mickey's at, and that he's he's well well ahead of uh, where his age is. You know, he's 20 years old. Unbelievable.